welcome back to my channel. I'm excited for today's video and it's been at least a month, if not two months, since I've done like a favorites and fails. But I have been buying a lot of makeup in the last couple of months and I thought I would share with you some of the favorite things that I've tried in the last few months. Some of the things that I think are just fine and then some, I have three things that like just really didn't work for me. So if you're interested in seeing my favorites, my fails, and the in-betweens, stay tuned. First, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you enjoy project pans and or just chatting about makeup, I would love if you would subscribe. I do post a minimum of four times a week. Other than that, let's just jump into the video. Okay, the first product is incredibly random, but it truly has become such a favorite. So I had been seeing a couple of YouTubers post about this specific pillow. I think I saw Robert Welch talk about it and as well as Hannah Louise Poston. So when this company reached out and asked if they could send me this pillow to try, I was like so freaking excited because I have like really wanted to try this, but it is, it's pricey. Um, so I was so super excited and they did send it over and it's from the company Sleeping Glow. My um, pillowcase is currently in the wash, you guys, so I'm sorry this is without the pillowcase. But this is what the pillow looks like. It looks very, very interesting. It feels, oh, it just feels so nice. Not necessarily like memory foam, almost like a, you know, like a stress ball when you like squish a stress ball. That is literally how this pillow feels. So it's really interesting. The pillow has these indentations, as you can see, and you're actually supposed to lay your head like, like this. So like, it's almost like it frames your cheeks because apparently sleeping on a regular pillow, you all like, at least for me, does anyone else have like a side that they typically sleep on? Apparently it can make your face like wrinkle faster and I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that ever until I had seen like Hannah Louise Poston and Robert Walsh talk about this and then I read through like all the information about this pillow. So what I will say is the first couple of nights it definitely does take a little bit getting of getting used to. In fact I think night two I woke up and like my neck I was like oh my gosh this is gonna be like a situation where I can't move my neck all day. Like maybe this pillow like isn't all it's cracked up to be but it wasn't a situation where i struggled with neck pain like all day it was just like my neck was a little bit stiff waking up because it does end up like kind of conforming i don't know if that's right the right word forming to your face um and you're not supposed to really use the middle part unless you're like a a back sleeper which i am not um then you would go like this um sometimes like in the morning if i'm like trying to wake myself up i'll sleep on my back but i have this fear you guys of sleeping on my back because i feel like anytime i've accidentally like somehow in my sleep rolled over and fallen asleep on my back i have like the nightmares where i have like sleep paralysis or whatever it just always happens when I'm on my back, it happened like three days in a row, one year in college, and I am just like truly terrified of sleeping on my back. In fact, when I sleep, I try and like, I do everything I can to make sure I don't somehow end up on my back. So that is a little bit about this pillow. It does retail for $165, so it definitely is an investment. I will tell you, like after watching Hannah and Robert's video, it wasn't like I was like, I need to go buy this pillow. I wasn't sold because $165 is a lot of money to spend on a pillow. But now that I've tried it, I am hooked and would repurchase it again. Um, even like my mom and sister, I was like, you guys, like if you don't buy this pillow yourself, like don't even give me ideas for Christmas because I already know what I'm going to get you because this is amazing and it will change your sleep like I actually really struggle to sleep through the night and I've noticed that I still don't always sleep through the night but I've definitely definitely been getting better sleep and just feel like more rested in the morning and I'm not trying to be like an infomercial but that is just my true experience with this and even laying in bed at night as I'm trying to get my critter as I like to call her um to bed she you guys my five-year-old still sleeps in our bed probably three to four nights a week so 
it's nice when I'm just like laying there with her trying to like soothe her even if I like bring her to her room I'll bring this pillow to her room so I can lay with her I just prop my head up like this and it's so comfortable sometimes I fall asleep in her bed because it's so comfortable and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of obsessed with this pillow so I wanted to share it with you guys like I said I had seen some people share about it and I was like eh, is that real is it not and let me tell you it, it it's real so if you're looking for something to ask like your husband or your I don't know your parents for for Christmas highly recommend that they did give me a discount code I think it's for ten dollars off I won't make any money off that it's just a code for you to save ten dollars which I mean anything helps at that point ten dollars that's like ten hard shell tacos with shredded cheese no lettuce please all right guys now let's move into I have pretty much just skin not skincare um makeup favorites but i do have one hair care oh and i have a fragrance i want to share as well so so for my hair care fave it's this one from igk i had previously been using something from like age i forget what i was using previous to this it was called the firewall I don't know why I'm blanking on the brand. I want to say it was like AG or AK. And I liked that because I felt like when I straightened through my hair, like my hair straightened quicker. However, I did not like the scent of it. And the scent of this, you guys, this also, by the way, it's the good behavior. It's supposed to be a smoothing spray, a keratin-like treatment in a can, 450 degree heat protection. Do you guys actually like, you know, when you read the claims, like, 97% of people said blah 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 do you like believe that I'm curious I'm always like a skeptic I don't need this right now because clearly I already straightened my hair oh you guys should be so proud that I <coughs> I always do this spray stuff in my mouth be proud I actually straightened my hair I do need to work out later and it'll probably end up in a ponytail for my later videos um but I like the way that this smells it smells for some reason I want to say it almost smells like a marshmallow scented thing. I don't know why I get that because I don't necessarily, like if I were to have a marshmallow in my hand here and then spray this, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say they smell the same, but for some reason this reminds me of marshmallows. It smells really, really good. I do feel like it makes a difference in like the smoothness of my hair when I actually do take the time to style it. You guys, I think I'm getting like, do you see this? Like, I think I'm screwing up my hairline with as tight of, like, every day at work. Sorry, I'm clearly feeling super chatty today. I'm not feeling, like, great today. I called my husband. I was like, I'm feeling really anxious today. So maybe just being chatty with you guys will help. Um, but I think, so I wear my hair every single day in a ponytail like this. Or, like, if I'm really, if it's been a couple days since we've really washed the hair. It'll be like a really tight bun like this. You guys know. You see me in my videos. I think I'm like starting to get a bit of a receding hairline from that. And it's like stressing me out a little bit. Um, anyway, I, I really like that hair product. And if you have any hair products for helping with receding hair, pro hair lines. Other than like hair growth. There probably is nothing. So I, I just need to be better about my hair care. And not wearing such a tight, tight ponytail. We're talking like Jojo Siwa tight ponytails here. Alright you guys. The other two things that aren't necessarily makeup. So this has been a favorite for me for a while. But I wanted to shout it out again. This is the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. These have been a hero product for me this summer. And I've really enjoyed... Um, mixing it with my super goop glow screen when this first released or when i saw the teaser pics earlier this year for the glow screen i think this released this year maybe i'm wrong i was like i really want that like i need to be better about my sunscreen routine oh. sorry my dog um i need to be better about my sunscreen routine and like glow screen that sounds like it's right up my alley but I had been like putting off buying it and putting off buying it because I have the Drunk Elephant sunscreen, which isn't a favorite anymore and honestly might be expired. So finally, one day I was in Sephora and decided to just pick this up, throw it in my cart. You know, I was already over my budget that I had planned for that day. So I figured, why the heck not? I mean, I had the excuse of I'm protecting my sun skin every... I'll tell another story, you guys. Um, <laughs> so... Every time I, so I get paid every two weeks and my husband get, gets paid every week. Every time that we both get paid, I joke about this with my uh, friends at work all the time. Every time we, we both get paid that Friday, I'll make a Sephora order of some kind. And 
my husband like will be mad if it's makeup i hope he doesn't watch this video he typically doesn't but of course this would be like the one video he would watch he will like get annoyed if it's makeup because he's like you you have a lot of makeup already so i'll always be like oh i like i needed to replace my cleanser or i needed to like replace my shampoo or blah 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 so i figured in my purchase if i had purchased sunscreen and just told him like i mean i i need to protect my my skin from the sun then it justified the entire purchase so that's where we're at with this but these two mixed together all summer long really helped to match my like self tan by the way i dyed my hair yesterday and i have like hair dye marks all over my neck i don't know what happened with the makeup today but definitely like it's more of like a cool toned look with like this warm splotchy self tan as usual i try not to say it every time in every like opening of the video now where i'm like oh my god like nothing looks good because like really like who cares anyway these two together all summer long i mean i know summer is over but if you still have like a self tan or you like to self tan or maybe it we're not heading into the fall wherever you're from and we're actually heading into the spring i think this is a great combo it protects your skin from the sun <coughs> excuse me, the anti-pollution drops are supposed to have some skincare benefits to it as well. And it's just a really nice uh, mixing agent. It just helps to match, like depending on how many pumps you use, it helps to match the bronze of your face to the bronze of your skin. I'm really good with words, clearly. I was an English major. Just kidding, I actually majored in public relations. Okay, so I had been talking a lot about the Kosas tinted lip oils on my channel. I've been into tinted lip oils so much. I could not be happier that tinted lip oils are like a trend now because I've always been into balms and I've always been into tinted lip oils and I finally just feel like I'm being heard specifically and individually from the makeup industry of my needs, you know? Just kidding. Um, but super excited that lip oils have been a trend because hello, who doesn't love a good lip oil? This girl does. So the ones that I am really, really into right now, still the Kosas, but the Tower 28, you guys, and they just released, I think on the day that I'm filming this, it's the third, this video probably won't go up for like two weeks. They just released four new shades and it's like these nudie pink shades. I need to figure out how to justify this one to my husband because I need the new four shades that they just released there's like a brownie toffee shade i need to look right now and see if they're available okay yes the new shades officially available i literally need all four the nice thing about these is that they're only 14 dollars, which i think is actually a really fair price so to get all of them 28 and 28 would be six carry the one 56 dollars and i have a 10 dollar gift card mm, so 46 plus tax probably picking up the other four shades tomorrow because tomorrow's payday. Um, yeah, I definitely want those. And, oh, you guys, the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty launched today. I feel like I need everything. We're getting, we're getting way off topic here. Okay, so highly recommend these. Uh, if you just like a clear, comfortable gloss, you want your lips to look a little bit juicy, you want them to feel a little bit nourished, but you're not like, color on your lips just isn't your thing go with the clear one. This is the Chill, and this is amazing. I will toss this on. So I had a little mini because I bought the um, set that came with the uh, full-size cream blush, and then it came with a mini of the Chill lip jelly. Flew through that. I will just like keep this in my purse, and if my lips are feeling dry, I will just toss this on. It isn't sticky at all, and I found like, yeah, if you just apply it and then put a mask on, it's going to get on your mask but it doesn't get on my mask like some other things. All summer, not all summer, because I haven't had this all summer, but since I've owned this, the shade Fire has been literally my go-to. It's this beautiful, bright, orangey shade, and I know, I know, we're getting away from like the fiery corals and stuff, but I also feel like you could make this work with some really beautiful fall looks, so I'll still be having that guy out and then i also have the shade xoxo as well as spicy which are some red shades red slash pink so this one is xoxo and it's actually more of like a pinky shade and these do sheer out quite a bit like they're pigmented but also sheer i feel like that's a complete oxymoron but they're not like um like some of the clarins products 
I feel like that's a bad example. Ooh, the new NARS like orgasm line that has the face oil or not face oils, the tinted lip oils. Those are very opaque. These you're going to get pigment on your lips. Like it's going to look red on your lips, but it's going to look more of like a sheer red. Um, I wish I don't really have a good color to match with this. Should I? Ooh, maybe I'll try. Let's try XOXO with this and then just don't laugh at me the whole video if it just really doesn't match my look. Just so comfortable. And see, you can really shear that out. Like, it's not like it's like this super vibrant, juicy pink. It just makes your lips look very, very glossy and adds just a sheer wash of color. It's not something that I worry about transferring all over my face. And I'm freaking obsessed with these. I keep telling myself my lip collection is out of control, but I like cannot say no to lip oils. So... I have these four now, and uh, you can uh, probably expect to see in my September haul the other new four shades that they release. Who else loves these? I still need to pick up the bronzer from Tower 28. I think I'm going to pass on the highlighter or like the dew balm or whatever, just because I feel like I've seen such hit and miss reviews on that, and it just doesn't seem like it's my personal makeup preferences or vibes, but I think overall Tower 28 as a brand, like chef's kiss, and definitely have been head over heels with their lip oils this summer. Okay, I have a couple of Patrick Ta products to talk about. First of all, I can't remember if I even hauled this for you guys. This is the Patrick Ta Brows, and I picked up not the like clear wax one, but the tinted one. I freaking love this. If you guys need a product, like even if you weren't doing your brows for the day, but you just wanted like like a little bit of if you want to make sure like they're held in place and then you want like a little bit of a tint this has been amazing i also really like going over i hate eyebrow pencils they're just not my jam but i will use like an eyebrow pencil to just outline and then i will go in with this and it is just the perfect like natural brow sort of look so all you do for this is spray it with water or spray your spoolie with water to activate and this will seriously lock your brows into place all stinking day long so highly recommend i've been really impressed with the patrick ta brand overall and then i absolutely have fallen in love with cream products this year in general but i was so excited to see him release a powder and cream blush duo i'm sure it's been done before maybe it hasn't but it's the first time like i really remember this being done and the first shade that i picked up was she's so la because i personally love a good bronzy neutral blush i have heard some people say that they don't feel like this lasts that long on them i personally haven't had that issue and patrick ta actually recommends that you lay the powder down first and then go over it with the cream which is a little bit kind of backwards on like what i feel like most of us would normally think but it really does help to give that sort of glow to the cheeks that you would get from a cream product while helping to make it last longer. So if you're having troubles with yours not lasting as long as you want, try doing it kind of that backwards way rather than laying down the cream first and then layering it with a powder. I personally have found mine last longer when I do the cream over top. Um, and then I was watching a Jamie Page video and she mentioned this one in Do We Know Her? And I'm not kidding you guys when I say like I immediately drove to Sephora and was like, I need to pick that up. I love Jamie Page and all of her recommendations. Just highly recommend her and her channel. She just seems like one of the most genuine YouTubers that has like a lot, like a larger following. I just, I always feel so calm and relaxed watching her videos. And her and I have very similar blush tastes. I love a good peachy coral blush. So I had to pick this one up if I didn't mention it. It's in the shade Do We Know Her. And it does look a little bit intense in terms of the cream blush, but over the powder, it is just so pretty. I was wearing this almost all August long because I was just loving this mixed with the Fire Lip Jelly. Oh, just like the most beautiful coral bronzy summer look loved it so i definitely recommend the patrick ta blushes this one was a bit of a wild card normally i don't get super excited about setting sprays but the dominique cosmetics jd weighty collab i this spray i'm gonna spray a little bit on myself right now first of all it just smells super fresh it reminds me of the laundry room at this like condo that my family and I used to rent in off this little island in Georgia, Jekyll Island, if you've heard of it. 
it literally like brings me back to that memory and i love the sprayer i love that it's a slower sprayer like it's just like the perfect mister and it makes my face just feel super super hydrated all day long so if this is still available i definitely recommend checking it out i did purchase this in the set with the primer we're gonna get to the primer towards the end of the video in the veil category for me um, an absolute fave foundation find of this year is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation this is stunning if you are looking for like a natural medium coverage nothing too like over the top foundation and this lasts all day i found if i wear this with a mask it doesn't transfer the way some of my other foundations transfer with a mask and this is just beautiful i know a lot of people were thinking that the price point on this the 16 dollar price point was a little bit high but i still think that's a good price i still feel like there's other foundations at the drugstore that range from like 16 to 18 dollars and you are getting i think the full fluid ounce in this i know the other foundation that they originally released that i think was more mattifying wasn't a full fluid ounce you are get, getting a full fluid ounce so i think 16 dollars is a good price for this again if you like a natural medium coverage foundation i think you'll really really enjoy this i was slightly surprised by this like i bought it thinking like oh I'll probably like this but i didn't think it would turn into a favorite this is one that is going to become a staple in my collection i think um as i kind of go away from like the Too faced born this way used to be an absolute staple but it is a little bit more full coverage and when i compare that to this one i think i'm liking this one a little bit more especially when i think about my day-to-day -day preferences and if i want a truly like glamorous full coverage look i can reach for my dior forever so i think when i finish my Too faced born this way foundation it'll be like my third or fourth uh tube jar that i've gone through I think I might retire that one with you guys, which is crazy because that used to be like my number one foundation, but this is beautiful. I highly recommend this one. If you're looking for more full coverage, this is not going to be your jam, but if you like a medium coverage, natural finish, this is stunning. So I posted a full review on this palette, but this has definitely become a favorite. I feel like I've dedicated a lot of my August to this palette because I was trying to create so many looks, trying to use every single shade like three to four times, and this is the Odin's Eyes solomon palette i know that they have recently released a new collection that i'm very interested in as well as their blushes and some of their other palettes but this is so beautiful and while i would love to not put it away while well, i felt like it was time to put it away after using it all of august i feel like this is a really really pretty one for fall this mustard shade is probably one of my new favorite shades of eyeshadow throughout my entire collection especially in terms of matte shades by far my favorite matte in my collection, I think. I also really love this lilac purple. I think it performs really, really well, especially for a lighter color purple. And then in my review video, I also compared this green shade to the green like duochrome shade in the Bronze Seduction palette by Pat McGrath. And they are super, super similar. So you don't have to pay $125 to get a very unique shade. And I just definitely recommend if you are trying to support indie brands, if you're looking to dive more into indie brands, I definitely recommend checking out Odin's Eye. I've, I, I know there has, a, I know there's a lot of sponsored content out there right now, but I am not sponsored by them. And I think that the quality in this palette is top notch. It is a little bit powdery. So if you don't like a powdery eyeshadow formula, just be aware of that. I always do my eyes first, so it really doesn't bother me. And I cannot wait to check out more from this brand. I almost forgot about my fragrance favorite. I decided to pick up the little deluxe size of the Replica Coffee Break. This is a newer release to them. I love coffee, you guys. Like, I am the most basic of basic bitches when it comes to just pretty much everything. Like, I have the Black North Face, the Lululemon Black Leggings, the Uggs, just the pumpkin spice i was laughing with um someone in starbucks the other day a gentleman actually was like i'm actually just like truly a basic white girl at heart and i was like yes like and we were laughing about just all the basic things i wish i was wearing my basic b shirt right now but i love coffee and i was really excited when i saw this release i went in store i asked him if i could like smell this because you can't like touch the testers there so they got me a little like spray card of this and i was like mm. I think I like this and I think this is going to be a nice fall scent. I love Replica. I think they make some great fragrances. They are very expensive, but I do think 
they make a top-notch fragrance and I'm really bad at describing notes but it almost reminds me of replica jazz club with like coffee notes mixed in and I nothing like makes my soul feel more alive than when I'm smelling like freshly brewed coffee and it would just be like a double extra whammy if it was like while I was looking at like a body of water um but this just makes me happy I really I sprayed it on myself earlier too I really like it it's a little less intense than jazz club jazz club by replica is super super intense as well as by the fireside or fireplace it's a little bit lighter than that but still I freaking love this I could definitely see myself purchasing this in a full size when I go through the little traveler I do like that they offer the traveler even though it's still like 30 bucks for this 28 but with tax 30 um, I like that they offer this so that you can kind of test it out for, you know, a couple of weeks and see if it really works well with your body chemistry. But so far, I have really enjoyed this. My last favorite is just my eyeshadow singles. So I've mentioned on my channel, I've been trying to support more indie brands. Um, it's really something that is becoming more and more important to me to support smaller businesses. I know my husband and I always joke every night that we go out to eat, we're just like supporting local because we have a ton of like local bars and restaurants that we're literally like blocks away from. And like in this time, obviously small businesses are really suffering. So I want to do my best to just support small, support locals, um, and support indie brands. So I've been ordering a ton of single shadows because obviously those are the most fun and I want to highlight a few brands. So I have everything kind of mixed. So here's, I've been working, don't judge me for my layouts but this is my purple and pink palette so the brands that i have purchased from i have purchased from adept and those are going to be these square pans over here they have a very interesting formula in that it's a little bit more like putty like it kind of reminds me of the super shock shadows but really really beautiful here's a swatch of one of theirs and it does i don't know if it's going to catch the light correctly but it does have a really beautiful reflect to it in one light it looks almost just like a straight lavender and then you catch the light and it turns into this almost like green shade i wish i could capture it better on camera i've really been enjoying the adept shadows it just was a little bit of a learning curve with that one with the way that the formula is i also ordered from you guys know i've been talking about jd glow cosmetics a ton on my channel again thank you to my friend alex for recommending and just talking about that uh brand on her channel so that i found them one of my favorite shades by them is this one right here. It's in the shade, is this the right one? I feel like it's not. Nope. Okay. This one is a shade by, um, I wanted to say JD Glow. Give me Glow Cosmetics right here. I believe this is in the shade Satellite. Gimme Glow is another one that I freaking love their formula. Their shimmers are outstanding. Super high impact, very foiled. You do not need a wet brush with them. I want to show you Good God, which is from JD Glow. This shade literally makes me drool. And like, this is one where like, I feel like the swatch doesn't do it justice, but it has so many different reflex in it that depending what you pair it with, this just is going to take your look to another level, no matter what eyeshadow look you pair it with. It's so pretty. It has like purple, blue, silver reflex. It can even pull pink at times. I think it's so stunning. Um, what else? I recently ordered, so I can't really say too much. I've only used their shadows a couple times now, but I recently ordered it from... Terra Moon just off the swatches alone. I want to show you guys a swatch of this one right here. O-M-F-ing-G. Like, <sighs> seriously, you do not need to pay Pat McGrath prices for a beautiful dimensional shade. So I think those are all of the ones that I've ordered from. I ordered from Shroud Cosmetics. I ordered basically their creepy cute palette, but I just ordered the singles because I didn't want the white or the black. I have not tried their mattes yet, so I can't speak on those. And like I said, I just got the Terra Moon. I'm like drooling over looking at this. I just got the Terra Moon in the mail a couple days ago, so I really can't speak too much on those. But off of my swatches, I am very impressed. Okay, I have a few products I wanna share in the fine category. Up first, I have the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Foundation. 
For $68, I just feel like this is not worth it, you guys, and it makes me so sad to say that. This is almost like a sheer medium, like possibly you can build it to medium coverage, but it's just not exactly the coverage that I was looking for, and the finish just isn't anything special to me. I know a ton of people love this foundation, but I mean, I'm going to use this up, and it's beautiful, beautiful packaging. I just wasn't... Maybe my expectations were too high, but I mean, for $68, you should have high expectations. I personally just love my Dior Forever so much more than I love this. So for me, this is just okay. Like I'll finish it up, but I couldn't recommend this at $68 unless you really like a sheer coverage foundation. I don't find it to be the most long lasting either. I have mixed this today with the YSL all-in-one glow and that's what's on my face right now I just I'm not that impressed by this so that was a bummer and then also the Maybelline lifter glosses I picked these up because I heard that these were potential dupes for the uh glo not glossier the gloss bomb by Fenty and while I think that they are a good lip gloss I still would just go over the or I still would just purchase the gloss bomb over this I think if you're looking for an affordable option or a more affordable option I mean these are nice I just didn't think that they were like amazing and I picked four shades up because I really wanted to go in depth on my comparison between the two I am working on a splurge or save video um spoiler alert I'm going to tell you to splurge on the gloss bomb but these were just okay in my opinion and now I have four of them really smart stuff Another product that I find to be just okay is the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. So this is very, very liquidy. And honestly, I think that this would probably be better as like an actual, like you're using it all over your face to kind of just like brighten up the face. But it also is a pretty intense highlight as well. I'm like rubbing it all over these swatches. So this is not the best representation. It is, I feel like gonna give a really artificial look to the skin if you are using it all over the face but as a liquid highlight on the cheeks I just don't love the way that it blends out I feel like it can tug away at the um, at your foundation if you're using a, a brush to blend it out but it's so liquidy it's hard to blend out with a finger so for me this is not something that I would purchase in a full size I got this in some sort of set or maybe as a 100 point perk but that did not turn into a favorite and then from Beauty Bakery I have their better not bitter flower this is their baking powder and in all fairness I'm not a huge baker but I had heard so many people rave about this powder that I really wanted to try it especially because I also have been trying to support more black owned brands and this is a fine powder I have used it both underneath my eyes as well as to see how it looks all over the face all over the face was a complete disaster it was way too cakey on me I do have more dry skin so I mean I was really just testing that out to test it out and see how it worked but even underneath the eyes if I'm not very careful to blend it out or like really push it into my skin it can look a little bit cakey every time I put it underneath my eyes it does like I, I almost feel like a tightness underneath my eyes like it's really drying to the powder or the powder is really drying to my under eyes so just something to be aware of if you too have very dry skin I feel like this is going to be amazing for you if you have oily skin especially if you have oily under eyes or like have a ton of problems with like oiliness in your t-zone this could be great for that but for me and my dry skin this was just okay not something I would purchase after I finish it which brings us to our final three products which were fails for me so up first I have the Dominique Cosmetics JD Weighty Primer and this isn't a bad product but I was super excited about this and for me first of all it smells like cucumber and it just like brings me back to like probably a traumatizing college memory where I drank too much cucumber vodka and was puking all night maybe uh but it's also super super thin and liquidy so the first time I put it on I was it was like running down my face and I almost didn't get the bottle set down in time to like rub it in to my face now it does feel very hydrating on the skin and the scent does dissipate it's not like it sits there all day and I'm smelling like college memories all day but it just oh it just really let me down and uh, 
I also feel like because it's such a thin product, like yes, it feels hydrating, but truly like how hydrating is it? I know there's special ingredients in here that are supposed to like refresh your skin throughout the day and make it feel super hydrated. But personally, if you're looking for a hydrating primer, I think the Good Molecules primer is really nice for hydrating and it's like eight or $12. So I would just recommend that over this. This is definitely not a repurchase for me. I would have put this in the fine category because again, I don't think it's a bad product really it but it's just it's not even like this is something that like I'm not going to enjoy finishing up because I just don't think it does it doesn't add like a tack to the skin it just doesn't do maybe I could use this as an actual moisturizer and that's how I could use it but as a primer it was a bust for me and then unfortunately I have two Ilia products as it fails so first I have this one this is the Ilia magic sands radiant translucent powder with spf 20 first of all i don't notice any radiance with this powder and second of all my issue with this powder is wherever you place it down you like cannot blend this out i don't know what it is but like i've tried with a sponge i've tried with a blush or not blush a brush and i really have to buff it and still like the initial the initial the initial place where i lay the product down you can still tell like there's heavier powder in that place than where you buffed the rest out it's the most bizarre thing ever I don't see any radiance ever anytime I've used this. I appreciate that it has SPF 20, but this just is a fail of a product in my opinion. And then also from Ilya, I picked up their uh, lip conditioner, tinted lip conditioner in Nobody's Baby. It's in lipstick packaging and this is fine. Like it's fine. However, I just feel like this does absolutely nothing like I put it on and three minutes later it's gone it absolutely does not feel nourishing to the lips and it doesn't really add a lot of pigment either so I just feel like this is like a complete fail of a product like either be a nourishing balm and be in like balm packaging don't act like you're a lipstick like don't play us and pretend you're a lipstick be a balm and come in like lip typical lip balm formula or typical lip balm packaging maybe have some more ingredients in there that are going to feel more nourishing to the lips and i would have felt a little bit better about it but just again adds barely no pigment at all i have them in the shade nobody's baby and it's gone within a couple of minutes i put this on sometimes before like i start doing my makeup and again it's it's gone before I even like I usually start with my my eyes it's gone before I even set my uh eyeshadow primer it's ridiculous so I am curious to try I still want to try more from Ilya I want to do a full face of Ilya a full brand review of Ilya but for me this was a fail and I would be curious to see what their lipsticks their actual lipstick formula is like Whew. all right you guys that was a long one I hope that you guys enjoyed it leave me a comment down below let me know what products you have recently fallen in love with fallen out of love with really despised i would love to hear from you thanks if you stuck around till the end thank you for listening to my rants thank you for listening to my stories just thanks for sitting hanging out chatting about makeup chatting about life i really appreciate it and i will catch you guys in my next video bye